In calculus, we'll be using mostly functions. There are times when we won't, like for example, implicit differentiation. However, for the most part, we will be looking at functions. So what is a function? Well, a function is a correspondence that associates each input with exactly one output. So for example, consider your inputs x and your outputs y. We call the input the domain and the output the image or the range. Now x, 1 is going to d, 2 is going to c, and 3 is going to c. Each input is going to exactly one output. 1 isn't also going to b. If 1 were also going to b, this would not be a function. Each input corresponds to only one output. Now it is possible for two inputs to yield the same output that actually happens over here in this graph. Consider that our inputs are x, so here's an input, and here's an input right here. We have like about negative 0.5 and about 0.5. However, they both yield the same output, which is here is zero. And the same goes for about 1.4. That also yields zero. So each of these inputs are yielding uh, one output but is the same output. So this is what a function is. Each x value only corresponds to one y value. Now how can you test for a function? Well if you have the graph of it you can do what's called the vertical line test. If you create a vertical line anywhere it should only pass through one point. If it passes through more than one point what that means is that your input is corresponding to more than one output and that's not a function. So here we have a function because everywhere the the vertical line test passes.